Chapter 10 MTP MPO Test Set In Chapter 4, we became familiar with the MPO or MTP 12 and 24 fiber connectors and the ABC polarity positions. The MPO test set, referring to the power meter and light source together, now has the job to examine the multiple fibers contained in the connectors. You will see a similarity to the single fiber test procedure, but first a capability to identify the polarity of the fibers that will be performed before testing begins. In this 5-minute video, exporting data for creation of reports is demonstrated as well. The FIS-12 Fiber MPO test set, which is available in multi-mode or single-mode configurations, is a two-piece kit that contains a power meter and light source designed to test and certify MPO-style assemblies quickly and easily. This set will provide the user with link attenuation readings over all 12 fibers in less than 15 seconds, as well as the ability to verify A, B, C, and 40 gig polarities. These units will work in virtually any MPO application. And here's how to operate the FIS-12 MPO test set. For a polarity check, push Options, then use the arrow keys to move up or down the selections. Push the F1 button or select to choose polarity check. Then select the polarity that you want to check for. Make sure the light source is on auto sequence. As you can see, it failed because this is a polarity A patch cord. Now we will select Type A polarity, because this is a Type A polarity cord. Again, make sure the source is on auto sequence. Now, as you can see, it passes for Type A. For Pass-Fail Threshold, set the threshold by using the arrow keys and then set it. To turn off the pass-fail threshold, just change the dB to 0 or select Reset which is the F2 button. To take a power reference, make sure the source is on auto sequence. Connect your reference cord to source and meter, then select F1 button for reference. Read and follow the on-screen instructions. When ready to take reference, press 0 slash test button. Wait a few seconds as source cycles through all 12 channels. When referencing is finished, introduce the test cable, then select polarity of test cable to start lost test. Within seconds, you will have all of the 12 fibers test results displayed and measured against the user-defined pass-fail thresholds. Finally, to save test results, simply press F1. To export saved data from your MPO power meter, use the supplied USB serial cable to connect the meter to your personal computer. Make sure the power meter is powered on before connecting to the PC. Take the supplied USB drive from the test kit and select the application MPO Test Report 2.6. You can also download the software from fiberinstrumentsales.com forward slash downloads. Once the software is opened, use the mouse to click and open the available COM port. This should now connect the power meter with the software, starting from the meter screen on the power meter. Enter the Options menu by pressing F3. Use the arrow keys to scroll down to Export Results. Press F1 to select. You can now choose to export a single file, a range of files, or all files. Again, use the arrow keys and F1 button to make your selection. When ready, press F1 to export. Now you can see that the files were immediately transferred to the reporting software on the left-hand side of the screen. You can individually inspect any of the files by clicking on the file number with the mouse. You'll notice that each file has the polarity and wavelength tested. 
the DBM power output, DB loss value, the pass-fail threshold, and if each fiber passed or failed. At the top, you can fill out the header information as well. When you want to generate the report, go to the top menu and select Reports. You can generate an individual file that's highlighted or generate all currently exported files. Once this selection is made, you have the option to save the report file wherever you like. The report will be saved as a PDF file. Thanks for watching this video. There are more free training videos. Go to the playlist by clicking the top right.